Good morning and welcome back to part three, the final part of our bottle drawing and on shape using the loft command. And where we left off in part two, we had completed our third and final drawing with our offset work planes. The next step is for us to actually join those in the unique geometry. And this is where it's real important that we, or we actually get to see the purpose of using construction lines. Once we add the three-dimensional modeling loft command to this, you're going to notice that these construction lines will not be brought forward. It will only use our geometric shape object lines that we have. So in the quick access toolbar, we will go up and find the loft command. And it's going to ask us for our profiles. And this is, of course, the new command. And I'm going to hover and left click at the bottom. It doesn't matter in what direction you go. Um, it's just I usually follow the path at which I drew each two dimensional shape. And then I'm going to left click to the second pattern. And I'm going to give it a second. And sometimes it takes a little uh, a minute for the computer to think about that process of lofting. And notice how it um, combines that material and we can talk about vertices and have the same equal number of points on each of our sketches in the future but for now let's just complete the three-dimensional loft command once I have all three of my profiles selected I'm going to accept that and I think what we're going to do next you know, let's go ahead and go down here to part and we're going to go ahead and rename this so Let's rename this down here by right-clicking, rename, and call it bottle. And then let's go ahead and add our material. So the quiz has a specific material component to it. So if you right-click, you can go down here and change a couple things. The first one will be assign material. And for this one, we're going to want to use um, high-density poly. Yeah, let's use polyethylene for the quiz. So we'll do HDPE, and it should come up with high-density polyethylene. And we will accept that component. And now let's go ahead and hit P to close out all the work planes. If we wanted to edit the appearance, we can. We can talk about this. Sometimes it is a visual representation, but this is one of our reasons why our total mass component might be a little different. Uh, but for now, this will be close enough on the quiz to give you the actual um, answer. Uh, so what we want to do is in the bottom right, select the mass properties. Notice that there is nothing visible because the computer is actually waiting for me to pick a part. So as we start adding more into our part studio, we can go in and look at individual parts, multiple parts combined. And that may be a constraint or a criteria within our design process. So if I hover and select, now it will populate my properties menu here, and you can look at whatever you need for the quiz. Uh, it might be the mass here, it might be in kilograms, you may have to convert it, you can change the workspace units again if you would like, whatever is easier for you. Um, good luck, I hope this has helped with our loft command, and I will see you in the upcoming video on using the coffee cup. We will be drawing an actual coffee cup.